Um, yeah. let, me, let me give you just a few minor details. They, they might look uh, not that important, but they are very important. Prior, just prior to uh, this conflict, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, Secretary Clinton, uh, Blinken had been in contact with both. Yeah, had been a phone call, and uh, a, a number of European uh, delegates were also meeting them. Yeah, on a regular basis, and MDT was also in discussion with them. What are we, what, what were they talking? And the night this conflict started. The American ambassador arrived that day. What does that say? I mean, I, 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 I do not always see coincidences mm -hmm. as being uh, a useful way of thinking about international politics. There, yes. usually things are choreographed. Exactly. Planned. Yeah. So all these talks, meetings, yeah, jostling, maneuvering, all that, yeah, uh, and then they. As if they did nothing, they started blaming, oh, Eritrea, you know, some, one of them come, came out and said, Eritrea is supporting this, Ethiopia is trying to support that. Mm -hmm. But they were cooking something. What were they cooking? And uh, one article uh, that, uh, I can't remember his name, but uh, uh, it must have been a Middle East guy or somewhere. He argued that Americans are not eager the transition to civilian rule, because that would entail having a democratic election. And if election takes place, then they would know somebody that would not like America meddling in Sudanese politics would come to power. So they want to be kingmakers. So they prefer Al-Burhan, their preference. So they're telling Al-Burhan, you must force this fool into becoming part of your army. So as soon as the special rapid forces are dismantled, then MDT would have no power. Hmm. MDT wanted, no, can't tell me two years, I want to do it over 10 years. Yeah. Consolidated, but over 10 years. So, you know, the, those were part of the negotiation. Those could have been solved, but then what kind of pressure was being applied? What were they telling them? or intimidating them, or coercing them to take action one way or the other. That's very important to bring it into this conversation uh, in order to understand what kind of meddling that has been taking place behind those, uh, you know, uh, uh, conflicts and then lead up to this uh, uh, eruption. Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. Just to clarify, the American ambassador... Uh, you said arrived before the uh, yeah, the day the day you yeah. Were, that... Yes, yeah. Yeah. the day it's the night it started, he arrived that day. It's on Twitter, I, on his Twitter account, claimed I was woken up by gunshots. I just arrived here today, he said. It's it's really interesting because. Uh, also, when uh, they opened the embassy after 20 years, and right after that was it uh, Al Bashir throne, something happened. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, after the embassy. And then, of course, let, let, let's just bring in another comparison here as well. Sorry, I'm, I'm also interrupting you. Uh, uh, remember, when, in, 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 uh, in, this, in, in November 2021, yeah? Uh, when TPLF was marching to uh, Addis, yeah, mm -hmm. they told all their staffers to leave, you know, the scare tactics. They were intimidating everybody, and this is not safe, it's going to fall under this, and then, you know, the whole story, it's not a safe place to go to, yeah? yeah. They even bribed the Zambian government to take it so to evacuate it, you know yeah, so now this is what what they did right yeah so they took out embassy stuff and all that now and i think two days after this conflict started uh american embassy car was hit with weapons yeah there was it was shot at. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
round of bullets, apparently, not just one, a round of bullets. It's a bulletproof one, but then it still it sends a message that is not a safe place for you. That's what it means. And they said they're not going to leave. Wow. Said they're not going to evacuate embassy stuff. What does that mean? That means they want to cook something there. Yeah, mm-hmm. they don't want to, they want to handle the situation, you know, be part of this. It's a war, it's their war. So that's how I always see it. It is their war. It is, it, they're not seeing it a war Sudanese people are waging, so they save them from their from themselves. That's not what they're telling us. They want to steer this in a way that would serve them their interest. And their interest is, once again, yeah, it's about their resource. They have been very blunt about it. They are interested in Africa. Their interest in this region is all about resource, nothing else. Their resource competition with China and Russia. That's all it is about. Nothing about our safety, our well-being, our development, our uh, uh, ability to, to coexist peacefully with each other. Yeah, Not even about democracy, as they say. Uh, it's just... Uh, uh, a meaningless point. By now, everybody should know when they say, you know, democracy important. Then everybody should know it's a, it's a it's a bogus story. It's a sheer lie. Yeah. Uh, so it is. That's exactly how they are handling it. It's not just the Americans that are saying that. The Europeans are also saying that they're not going to be back right there. Staffers. Uh, uh, and the European uh, uh, Union, uh, uh, I think, ambassador was also uh, uh, shot at. The embassy was shot at. I mean, a range of embassies, Japanese embassy was shot at. Uh, uh, there's looting taking place in different places, in different embassies. And those kinds of insecurity are not intimidating them to leave the city. But in Ethiopia, in a peaceful city of Addis at the time, they wanted to, to evacuate everybody. Hmm. They were telling even the government leaders to, to leave the country. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Definitely. Now we've got a plane ready for you if you want to leave now. Hopefully, uh, Prime Minister Abi will write that in a book and uh, yeah, make us read yeah. uh, what was going on behind the door you know there's of course obviously a lot uh wow uh, thank you very much uh dr binam as usual it's really a pleasure to have you here we have learned it, including myself and uh everyone here uh, have learned it a lot and uh, we definitely also try to bring you kind of a panel discussion by having representatives from all uh, the countries in the region uh, and then discuss uh, and then hear what they say and people also from Sudan by the way uh, including also uh, Dr. Biniam uh, yourself uh, and others who are uh, viewing this video if you know someone uh, from Sudan, uh, so far we were not uh, yeah, yeah. able to, yeah, successful yeah. Uh, to get the one we have, uh, yeah, uh, we're not able. They to need to them. tell their story as well. Yes. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We need to hear, uh, we need to hear their stories. Uh, mm-hmm. um, that being said, really, uh, our hearts and prayers uh, are with our uh, sisters and brothers. Mm-hmm. In Sudan, uh, as you said, uh, Sudanese people are really wonderful, beautiful uh, hearts. Uh, they have been, uh, you know, uh, hosting a number of uh, mm-hmm. refugees from different countries in the region, mm-hmm. Ethiopians, mm-hmm. Eritreans, different. Uh, so, uh, yeah, it's not really, uh, this is not really what they deserve, and especially mm-hmm. in this, uh, uh, the holiest months that uh, mm-hmm. they are facing this and hopefully yeah we do believe you know as uh, as people here you know sharing uh, the knowledge the knowledge based on our research and our opinions uh we do <coughs> africans are able you know to solve yeah. their problems and regardless of what that's you know th- th- that's a principle we need 
to mm -hmm. stick to. We, we have to be, uh, it's really, as an Ethiopian, I know that uh, when Blinken came, was it in 2021, to Nairobi, you know, to, mm -hmm. to, to mobilize uh, leaders uh, or the, uh, mm -hmm. it was Nigeria, Senegal, and uh, Kenya mm -hmm. against Prime Minister Abiy against Ethiopia. It was that time uh, we heard, I think, the Foreign Secretary or something, uh, um, Madame Rachel, uh, I mm -hmm. forgot her title, who said, uh, we do believe in the wisdom of Ethiopian people and the leadership and mm. how really heartwarming that is. So uh, mm. it's important for the Sudanese people to hear that uh, mm. also, you know, they, they have the wisdom uh, mm. to solve this. Uh, yeah, with that, uh, this session has come to an end. Uh, have a good evening uh, and have a good uh, weekend and until next time. Mm. Bye -bye. Thank you, Thank, Thank you, viewers, uh, for being.